Pass the Puck, tactical videos for your hockey team. In this video, we're going to talk about playing shorthanded, part one, delayed penalty. Here, you see I've placed two teams on the ice. The left winger on the attacking team has crossed the blue line along the boards. Just when you think all is good, not. My left defenseman is getting ready to nail him to the boards when all of a sudden he feels it's better to trip him instead. Now, because the referee in the attacking zone didn't see the trip due to everyone skating across his vision of sight, the referee on the far boards in the back can see the trip. So, the referee's hand goes up for a delayed penalty. Okay, what the heck is that? Well, several things have to happen once his hand goes up. First, the goalie needs to head towards his or her bench. Why? Well, for one main reason is, the goalie can't cross the center red line, enjoy the play, or attack. So the rule states that once the goalie gets to the team bench, a player can replace the goalie for a sixth attacker from the bench. Now, there will still be a delayed penalty until the team that caused the infraction touches the puck. Then, the penalty will be awarded to the team for the infraction. However, if the green team can maintain control of the puck, then the sixth attacker continues until the other team touches the puck. Once the yellow team touches the puck, the penalty is awarded and the face-off goes into the yellow team zone for the face-off. This concludes our video on Playing Shorthanded Part 1. Please check out our other videos on youtube.com slash pass the puck. Please like, follow, and share. Until then, be safe.